We got the fifth, the seventh, and the ninth pick. Let's see if we can pick the eighth overall. It's like I say, it's time to overhaul. It's time to overhaul with young, promising youth. Whatever that entails, it's time to overhaul. Let's see if we can maybe snag a third round pick out of it. Or a fourth, and a fifth maybe. Some additional capital. not maybe not the eighth pick maybe number 10 trade with the Bruins I anticipate fully the Carolina Hurricanes to miss the playoffs this upcoming season so Jacob Bean I think the only two defensemen that are 100% safe are Flurry and Bean because they're young enough to stay around Pesci and Slavin are definitely going to be finding new homes we'll be signing a few free agents well, maybe. At least some team. To ice a team. Yeah. You gotta. One year contract, be like. Alright, so not doing that. Not even enough for that. Boston's out of the question. Maybe we'll just. Uh, maybe we'll look into the fine trade meter with those guys. Look into it. Flyers might do much. Slavin, yeah, maybe for the 16th pick. Fisher. Oh, God, no. Avalanche are looking to trade their... These... Okay. okay. Not the best. Like, well, it's two first-round picks. And then Stolarz. Okay, hold on. Is he any good, though? He's 21. Is not driven to win, so we're driven to win. Character is key on this team. So Pittsburgh's two first, I think, would be best because then we can reload for next year as well. I thought it was more offers for the same guy. Yeah, we'll take Pittsburgh's trade. Okay. It gets us a couple of picks in return. And Brett Pesci, you were a hell of a defenseman when we needed you to be, but it's time to move on. We're all getting old. It's time to overhaul. Okay. Vancouver. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Alright. Get picks. Picks. Players, strength, and numbers. Hosan. Trocheck. Good luck moving that cap hit, buddy. Good luck moving that cap hit. Oh. The Leafs are the only we'll sucker. Fucking take it. Taking whatever we can. If, oh, shit. What? They sim the next pick. So, Trocek's contract immediately looks like an albatross. Yeah, we gotta take that. Let's Unless we can somehow turn it to a 2026, or this current season. And just take off the... Oh. They don't even have a first. Well. Um, let's look to just a team who wants... Uh, yeah. Trocek's hit's gonna be near impossible to move, and we can't... We need to trade him to a team that, like, wants his cap hit. Maybe like the Rangers. Fuck Tampa Bay. They don't deserve any more shit. Edmonton. Carol uh, Edmonton. They probably don't have the cap hit. Uh, We'd have to take a couple million going the other way. Edmonton would have more than 45 skaters. Shit contracts with one year left. We'll take like a shitty contract with one year left. Yeah, okay. Oh, he's going to free agency. But right. Maz come off. We'll just take his expiring deal. And then we'll maybe see if we can snag a pick out of it, an additional. It's being a little bold, but there we go. Nice. Nice. We got rid of Vincent Trocek's cap hit. So we currently have... Thought he was a little holy three. shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight first round picks. And all out. Hosang. Hosang. Hmm. Did he earn his cap? Kinda. Kinda. But we do have that first line. He's good. Kapanen, you're gone. Kapanen's gone. Because his cap is an albatross contract at this point. I don't even know if there will be a team that's willing to take him. You'd be lucky to get even a second round pick out of him. Thomas Tatar's cap hit. A lot of teams are looking to trade. 
Kings want to trade their second round pick. Kopitar. And Kopitar. Habs are looking to trade. There's really no good offers, except for this one, around two and around four. It's about the best. About the best we'll probably get. Yeah, there's really nothing else better, so we'll take the we'll take the uh the Sharks fifty fourth overall and that overall. So long, Kapanen. And Nikash will try and resign, keep him around. Why not? Other than that, Maskamoffville, that was the guy we picked up. Kessels. Him are gone. I don't suppose we're gonna I don't suppose we're gonna get anything for them, so moving along. Oh, time to just do picks. Time to do picks now. And Simtar pick number five, the fifth overall pick. So they took both defensemen, which sucks. Dick move. Wouldn't let us pick, but we'll take Peckham with the sixth pick. Or fifth pick, sorry. Pretty good. Defensive defenseman. He'll work with Bean. Her perfect there. Seventh pick. Overhauling the defensive core is key, but getting some forwards also doesn't hurt. We'll pick uh, Filatov. He's top four medium. Nice. 68 overall top four defenseman. Kind of trade it all we can, really, at this point. Uh, okay. So we can pick Salo. We can pick Mason, Macaulay. We can pick Bayer, Devereaux, Moroza. Maybe just take Mason. He's the safest pick. Nice. Number 23 pick is next. Do we miss on any fucking absolute gems? Nothing really that we didn't pick earlier. We have currently three straight picks now. So if we mess up, well, we can literally take whatever three we want. Maybe take Emelyn. Mm -hmm. Start with Emelyn. Nice. On the top four. There's low lead. And then there's Booth, Franzen, Nick Coles, Ponikarowski. There's the goalie. Maybe take with one of our later picks. In like the round. Maybe the third pick. We'll take the low lead defenseman. Okay. Oh, we have four picks in a row. God damn. Oh. Enforcer? Fuck no. <laughs> Grinder? Fuck no. We'll take the two-way at least. Something. Oof. Oof. Whatever. Now the goalie? Now that goalie. We don't want to miss on him. Horkoff should be solid. I said Horkoff should be solid. Thank you. 64, medium elite. Hold on to this one. Oh, we get to pick again. This, I knew this was going to be a long draft. This was going to be a long, drawn-out draft because we have a lot of picks. Addressing the forward core now. Let's pick Ponikarovsky. Maybe we'll take McCabe. I said take McCabe. Thank you. Top 9, 61. The 35th pick of the draft. No. Fuck them. They ain't getting shit from us. Oh, God. <laughs> no elite Sloan two-way forward. Maybe. Decent. See. I'm really uh, going for it here. We're going for the build mode. We're going... We're... we're, we're the problem is, is we... Missed... We didn't think about the future. Oh, gem. Gemware. Go down. Down? Slower. That one apparently. Take him. Oh man. Decent. I'm okay. This is a building year. But no, what one thing I was gonna bring up is look at the ducks team we did. How did we win the cup? We built with what we had. We had pieces to surround them. So 
grinder, but he could work. Yeah. The thing is, is like, he... I think we could just sort by potential now. It's not looking good. Chow. Take chow. Okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> High elite. Wicked. Might have actually time for him to realize his potential, too. Take the... Wait. Thought I saw some. Take Shelly. Top nine. Or... No, he's in the force. Fuck that. Okay. Defensive defenseman. So he's not. Fake news. As I was saying, the Anaheim Ducks, you know why we won the cup? is because we built with what we had. We didn't just throw caution into the wind. We let it be a slow burning process. We missed the playoffs the first two years. But the thing with Carolinas was that they weren't supposed to miss the playoffs right away, and they didn't. But it's a whole new challenge. Is building a team that can win. And I thought that we did. But we clearly didn't. So thing is, is I think the forward core is good enough to stick around and we'll build around Sebastian Ajo and Sveshnikov as it should be. Defense, we need a number one. And Jake Bean, listen, he's going to be our number one defenseman, I think. But going forward, we're going to need a running mate with him. Sick. And I'll say that it, there's going to be pain for this team. There will be pain. Like, we're probably going to miss the playoffs next year. That's a very realistic thing to say. We very well may miss the playoffs next year. Ending what was a... Well, we made the playoffs seven straight years, but the Hurricanes made one in real life, so eight. That means eight, ending an eight-year playoff streak because um, we need to focus on building a team We had a very good draft. We got lots of prospects. Yes, we did. And there won't be many renewals. No. And I think... Let them go. It's time to look into a new coaching staff, too. We need to start from the ground up. We do. Ovechkin, Ovechkin stays because he's Ovechkin. But... I want him to see this Stanley Cup happen when we inevitably lift it. Because I think we will. And listen, me saying, oh, I'm resigning earlier was me just being very mad about this team. I was very upset. Because how... Dinner. Huh? You had some dinner. Now he's relaxed, right? Now that I'm calm and I have actually a level mind, I'm going to say I'm not going to just fuck off with this team. Okay, I knew you weren't wanting to come back, so fuck off. Um, so knee cash. That works for me. It's fair. Probably 4.845. Yeah, so 5. Sick. 4.85. Yeah. Phil Kessel doesn't want back. 5. Marshawn doesn't want, uh, wants back, but we're not bringing him back. You're under our control. Then we're going to sign Peckham to an ELC. There's going to be... It's going to be a lot of bringing in prospects. The next couple years, is, there's going to be pain. This team's probably not going to make the playoffs, as I mentioned earlier. Unfortunate, but it's true. It's not going to happen, guys. I don't think... I just don't think so. We may not be the worst team in the league, but I just don't think it's going to happen. And, uh, okay. All expiring, just gonna and then a net. We'll bring you back, sure. Oh yeah, we still have to deal with that problem. Yeah. Tynan, Ooh. I thought Yeah. I thought I was trying so hard to defend this guy. He had two years. He had two years to prove to me that he was now listen, he had forty eight and forty seven wins in his first two full seasons. Look at those stats. Whatever, they're solid. But 
when it matters most, where was he? Where was he? He's not growing. When it mattered most. And he's not growing anymore. So, Grigorenko, he's ready to be the backup goalie. Most likely take the starting role next year. So, I think it makes sense to give Grigorenko and Nedjelkovic a shot. We're going to pursue a trade for Tynan. Yeah, we're we're no longer we're no longer in it to win it each year. Oh, okay. Whatever. We'll give him five by five. Nikash has deserved that at the very least. At the very least is deserved five point we'll give him five point one five. Meet him in the middle of what our initial offering was. Give me 5.45. Fucking greedy fuck. Well, I gotta beat my my man for 10 in it. Okay. All of a sudden, what? he's important on his phone. It, it not, what is that? It's a calculator. This is a calculator. Oh, for Christ's sake. All right, litmus. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? What was I doing again? Trading the fucker. We have forty-one million dollars going into free agency with some holes to address in this roster. Ooh. Especially in coaching. Yeah. That's the biggie. I'm gonna have to sort of. Disagree with you on that one there? What do you mean disagree? We're going tagging. We want to ice a team, though. We need players. So first of all, we have extensions. Good players and good men. Sveshnikov wants his extension. Really? Holy shit. Look at that if you wanted eight years. <laughs> Just give him what he wants, I guess. One year. This number for you. 9.03. Okay. He does shit. He's getting traded like the rest. Jake Bean. Okay, he's at least reasonable. Kinda. 8.67. Give me 8.75. Earned it. But that's still a lot of money. And then Hayden Flurry. Okay, that's fine. Give you four years. So you're not going into your years. 4.78125. 4.8 then. Just do this. There. And then Radish is like the fourth liner. And a net. He's gonna fucking like it. Oh, boom. Okay. Clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. The Carolina Hurricanes are fully official. Oh, yeah, we need to do a press conference. Doing a press conference right now. 